What's going on guys, VicVP back with another Game Case Arcades video and well, I'm a little upset. Can't really say that I'm too upset, but I'm upset about a little thing that I discovered. Uh, went to Micro Center, went to go grab a Raspberry Pi and to my surprise, there is an entire aisle devoted to building your own arcade. I was pretty shocked, mind blown, the size of this aisle. It was a whole aisle. Um, you know, one side, left side. Um, they had the bar top edition. They had a stand-up one for a 32 inch. Um, totally wasn't expecting it. My mind was blown when I was looking at it. Um, you know, kudos to people to make their own arcades, but when it came to like the price on it, it didn't really seem right. I was trying to compare it to what I buy, to Game Room Solutions. Um, and all in all, I was pretty upset. Uh, literally, I, I took video, I'll, I'll show it real quick on the screen. Took some videos of the whole entire aisle. I mean, it had everything from start to finish. You had your cabinet, you had the buttons, you had the micro switches, you had the T molding, you had the joysticks, you had the Zinmo controllers. It was everything. It was set. I couldn't believe it. I was mind blown. I was not expecting to walk into this. And to my surprise, they just put it up last week. Right now, this is today's December 15th. I went in there again to get a Raspberry Pi. And I went to one of the sales guys and one of the sales was like, oh, we just put this out. It was about a week ago and it's got a lot of attention. That was another thing that shocked me. The price points for a complete arcade without a, a HyperPi image though. Of course, nobody's gonna sell you a HyperPi image, but the big shocker was that it was a thousand dollars. I have it here. They even gave you a, a, it was like a booklet that you could take off. You could literally pull the flyer and it's a checklist on what the stuff you need. I couldn't believe it. Um, again, they had two different, types you had the bar top which was a 22 inch bar top and i never seen a 32 inch stand-up arcade it was pretty cool uh you know i would say about six feet tall the big thing that shocked me was the price point the pricing was just but also there was people there there was literally like 20 people on this aisle looking at these things and i was like damn like you guys really want to pay a thousand bucks people always try to lowball me on my 850 dollar complete bar top with the image and you know, you're here spending a thousand bucks. Well, I can't really say a thousand. For the bar top, it was six ninety nine, six ninety nine, seven hundred bucks for it. I mean, but you still have to do the work as far as getting the HyperPi image, and not to mention, I think it came with a thirty two gigabyte SD card. Uh, mine comes with one twenty eight, so it's like, you know, if you want to compare apples to apples, you know, you really can't. In their mind, it's going to cost a little bit more than what I offer. So again, I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. I was in there just to grab a Raspberry Pi and. To my shock, believe I couldn't believe it. There was a whole arcade um, setup. Now again, I mean, I walked up to these things. I built these things. It was almost identical. I couldn't see the back of it because it was kind of bolted down to like the shelf. Um, but I would say it's like almost identical to the T of what. Ryan from Game Room Solutions makes. The only thing I did notice is that as far as when I opened up one of the, the control panels on the bar top, I believe they actually use real wood. Um, I don't know my wood. It looked like chips of wood compressed. Not like this, not like an MDF where it kind of looks like cardboard. That was actually like real wood. So I was pretty shocked at seeing that. Um, I was just blown away by how ugly the artwork was. The artwork for the upright arcade was ugly as hell. It was it was disgusting. The 32 inch model with like the bezel, the bezel was huge. And you know, whoever built it really, like you know, when we do like, again, this is Antonio's arcade with the 22 inch monitor. We didn't really put a bezel because there's not really a need for it because the screen is big enough. I mean, this 32 inch one, it literally had at least a good five inch bezel on the bottom and another five inch bezel on the top. And not to mention another like, let's just say two and two, four inches. So maybe you could have put a bigger screen in it or the plexiglass was too big, but it just, it threw me off. The artwork was horrendous, um, but definitely you could kind of see what it, what they mean by do-it-yourself arcade. Um, again, I, I was just mind blown. Uh, I was also trying to compare the pricing. They were doing, a, you could go to Micro Center, I'll probably look it up, really. I'll look it up real quick actually on my phone. The big thing was like the pricing for like everything. So, I mean, again, here we go. So 
It's $6.99. $6.99 for the complete bar top kit. That included like the, the let's see what it included. That included, I guess, the T-molding, the speakers, the monitor, the bar top graphics, HDMI cable, and stereo mail to dual RCA audio cable. Um, well, that's a step two. Again, they have a three-step thing. I'll, I'll snap a picture of it. It's pretty cool. So you go from the left to the right, you pick up your paper, and then you pick the cabinet, and then from there, you pick your T-molding. They had a lot of T-molding. I was very surprised. Colors that I've never even seen. I mean, we were talking like orange, green. It was like a light white uh, chrome. They even had gold. It was a gold chrome. Pretty cool. At least now I know now that I could go to a micro center to pick up T-molding if I ever need it. Um, buttons, they all had the concave buttons. Um, not many colors. I think it was red, black, white, and blue. Um, no LED option. Uh, concave buttons and the micro switch. The joysticks kind of are trying to copy the um, Street Fighter style uh, joysticks, um, but let's let's take a look real quick. I'll, I'll probably flash the screen real quick of Micro Center, but again, I try to do it in a way that we can compare the pricing to it. The big thing was the buttons. Buttons were expensive. A Micro Switch was 130. Let's call it 150. Let's just make it easy. It was 150 just for the Micro Switch. And again, I'm trying to make this into a 20 a 20 button arcade layout so they advertise this zuzu hap concave button so if they're using real hap buttons again it's zuzu hap i never heard of zuzu hap i've heard of hap but not zuzu hap i'm not too sure maybe it's the same i don't know but uh they did have a chrome button which is pretty cool to see but again that was more expensive um let's take a look at this regular buttons let's say red it was 250. it's 250 for the button alone with the nut and another 150 just for the micro switch. So you have to pay four bucks. It's four bucks for each button set with the button and the micro switch. Four bucks times 20 buttons is $80 alone in buttons. Alone. 80 bucks. You just did it. It's four bucks a button with the micro switch. You need 20 buttons. It was a 20 button kit. So it's 80 bucks alone just in that. That's not including the joysticks. The joysticks that they have here, let's take a look at the name of it. Lorenzo 8-way Euro joystick. Again, they look like the Street Fighters. I don't know if that's the actual ones, you know, but it's $20 a joystick. 20 bucks joystick times two, you need 40 bucks. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. it's 120 bucks just for the controller, like the buttons to it. 120 bucks alone. Not including the Zinmo. The Zinmo was another 20 bucks. So 120 plus the 20 is 140. Just for the buttons alone. Whereas for me, when I get it from Ryan Gaming Solutions, I get LED buttons, chrome trim, um, Zinmo controller, and the joysticks. Again, they're not the same joysticks though. You know, they do kind of look like the Street Fighter edition kind of um, joysticks, but I pay tops 80 bucks. And that's with the LEDs, that's LEDs with the wiring. So automatically, I get it, maybe Micro Center has to make their money and make a little bit of a profit, I get that. But 80 bucks compared to 140, it doesn't make sense. The cabinet, the bar top cabinet alone, was I believe 260. I just lost it. Yes, bar top cabinet alone was 250. It's 250. Now, my only thing about the 250 was that I wasn't sure. I couldn't tell. Nobody knew. None of the salespeople knew. But I wasn't sure if that included the plexiglass. I assumed it did because it looked almost exactly like the Game Room Solutions kind of box. It was everything. It was almost to the T, just like how Ryan does it. Um, on the show piece, on the actual like bar top that they had, on on display they did have plexiglass all around but they had the the artwork to it so now they do have now for 50 bucks uh they have the artwork it looks it says graphics pack but i'm not too sure if that's like including like do you have to buy the graphics pack for the plexiglass i don't know i'm not too sure um but again you got 50 bucks on that we were at 140 for the for the controllers alone uh 250 for that and let's just say 50 bucks. So it's gonna cost you 440, not including the monitor. There's no monitor on this. And we didn't do the pricing on the speakers. Speakers, they did have six inch speakers, 6.5 inch uh, pile, 30 bucks for a pair. Let's just add it. Let's do 30 bucks for the pair. But there was no, if you wanna do, um, they, they even have the um, audio controller. Let's see. They have an amplifier for 20 bucks. That's not too bad. That's a pretty reasonable price. It says mini. So it's 490, it's 500 bucks. 
Um, so again, if you're paying 500 bucks, other things not including that is the Raspberry Pi, the plug for the Raspberry Pi. Um, I didn't know, but the Zinmo includes the, the button, the wiring for the buttons. So, I mean, after the Raspberry Pi and everything, you're probably gonna pay about 550. Um, I think they were advertising a complete set. We didn't talk about the monitor, uh, but 550 plus the monitor, let's say, you're looking at at least like, let's say six, 650. Costs a little bit more than what I, you know, pay. Let's just see real quick. I took a picture again. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm doing this. I. I just came from there. I was really pissed because I was just shocked. It's five. It's oh, what the no? That's the stand up. Six ninety nine. Seven hundred bucks for the complete bar top kit. Seven hundred dollars. That means you're gonna get everything. So it's not too bad. Um, you know, for seven hundred dollars, I. I. I didn't really look at it. I'll, I'll throw a picture real quick. We'll look at it together, I guess, real quick. But the picture I'm gonna look at is this one with the bar top kit. It says you got the cabinet, the 21.5 inch monitor, the T molding, the graphics, the speakers, four inch speakers, and HDMI cable. The stereo male to dual doesn't make sense. I don't know what that means. That's the wire. Does that include the amplifier? I doubt it. 20 buttons with the switches, the joysticks, the button labels. I don't even know what that is. I guess to put the stickers on the buttons. Because of the 32 gigabyte SD with the Pi, the 5 volt power supply. Oh, it does come with an amplifier. Power Surge and the Zinmo. So for 700 bucks, I mean, it's not that bad, but keep in mind that you are only gonna get a 32 gigabyte SD card and you have to do now the hard work of figuring out how to image the Pi. So, I mean, again, 700 bucks, I sell you know one without the graphics pack for 850. So again, for me to make 150 bucks, you know, it's a little bit different though. I, I hate to say it, it's a little bit different. If you like, the, I'll be honest, it is a concave button. They are pretty nice buttons. I mean, a button's a button to me. You can see my last video. I don't care if you're doing half, regular buttons, LED buttons, a button's a button, it clicks. So it's up to you if you want that. The concave button was pretty nice. It did have the chrome, they had chrome options, orange buttons, I never seen that. Um, so as far as taking it to the custom level, it's pretty cool. But again, there wasn't LED buttons. There was no LED marquee to it. It did have the marquee. The artwork to it was horrendous. I personally wasn't a fan of it, especially for the upright, the the 32 inch like arcade cabinet. I wasn't a fan of that. It didn't look right. It looked ugly. Not to mention, I think it's just a sticker that you put over once you build it. I don't know how Ryan does it. I haven't seen one yet, but it's basically, I guess you put the sticker over it after you built it. So the cabinet's like for the 32 inch, the big one, there's a big, you know, line going across right where the monitor is. I guess that's really for you know, when you build it, it's not in a big box. You saw that line, you saw all the air bubbles inside the um, the artwork on the side, at least for the test model. Now the other thing that was pretty funny was that I was opening them up. I literally walked up to the bar top and I opened up the control panel. Um, I even went to the upright one, the stand up one, I opened up that and I started taking pictures and a salesman walked up to me and he said, you can't do that, stop doing that, you can't do that, that's not allowed. And I was like, well, you know, I know arcades, but fine, I, I closed it. I was able to take a quick video and I was dying because the display models weren't linked. They weren't hooked up. There was, there, they had the wiring go up, but there was no Zinmo talking to a Raspberry Pi. The funniest one was the 32 inch had two Zinmos uh, built into it. That's not the right way to do it. Um, but I was kind of disappointed as far as how easy it was to lift the 32 inch control panel. It wasn't really like, there's no real like thing to lock it in place. It is kind of free roaming, um, but I mean, again, I was blown away. I was shocked. I couldn't believe it. And somebody was willing to pay $1,000 for this without the Raspberry Pi, without the HyperPi image. I mean, fine. Kudos to you. It's cool to do it yourself. That's why, um, you know, we do these things. I like to do these things because it's, it's an awesome experience. But I was just mind blown. I wasn't expecting Micro Center to come out with their own, I don't know, build your own arcade aisle. It wasn't a little shop. It was literally an aisle. Like, I'm talking at least let's say 15, 20 feet long. I, I couldn't believe it. Again, you'll see the videos on this and all that. The one last thing, and I thought about Mad Little Pixel, but his name wasn't on this. There's a quick screenshot that I have of the video that I took. And on this video that I took, uh, Micro Center had a little like flyer that said like, if you want to, if you want to learn how to like make an image, look up these names on YouTube. And all of a sudden it said RetroPie 
it said something about RetroPie image, and then all of a sudden it said ETA Prime and Drew Talks. So I don't know if Drew Talks and ETA Prime know that Micro Center has their name. They're gonna get a lot of views now because people are gonna start looking up how to build arcades. Um, again, I'm gonna show it real quick, but it basically said like, hey, if you wanna know how to make an image, look up these people. I could've sworn I thought I saw Mad Little Pixel. I would've messaged it because now Mad Little Pixel, cool guy, great videos. He's posting a lot of stuff on like the emulation lawsuits and all that with Nintendo, so I thought about him. Uh, maybe he'll get this, check it out. Again, check out your nearest Micro Center uh, for parts, but that's that. Micro Center selling arcades. I mean, again, not to really knock uh, Micro Center or knock anything. Kudos to people that want to build it and do it themselves. I praise you because I'm just like that. I want to build it, I want to do it myself. Um, but definitely this is something where I can now send to a customer and I'll say, listen, you want to do it yourself. You want to sit there, screw it in, put the, the buttons in, you want to wire it up. After taxes, remember that Micro Center charges taxes, is 762. You pay 762 for a bar top without the LED, really the LEDs, there's no LEDs to it. So, um, you know, again, my little rant on uh, Micro Center's uh, thing on the arcades. I was just shocked at how big the aisle was. I couldn't believe that. Um, you know, again, I think they got the idea from RK one up Unfortunately, RK one up it was a great idea, but they didn't test it. I didn't buy one, I didn't personally have one. I'm gonna buy one when it kind of hits the 150 mark, which I heard that in a couple of places that are 150. I'm gonna probably do that and modify one and see what it looks like. That comes with like a 17 inch screen, Again, I'm not here to knock any businesses. I make my own stuff, so, you know, it's just a shocker. Um, well, there you have it. Micro Center selling arcades now.